Hey guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Roxanne. We are backstage at Slam Dunk Festival 2023 and Shikari, one of the headliners and the lads join me now. Gentlemen, how are you? Very well. Yeah, yeah. knackered but great. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, last night's show, let's let's just dive right in. Outrageous. I mean, if people have already seen the photos up on Roxanne and stuff, I mean, you know, Rao, you'd already hinted in the mag and stuff about like tech things and all this big ambitious show. It feels like things really, really came to fruition for you guys. You must be delighted with how it going now. Yeah, we kind of, we kind of threw everything at it, didn't yeah. we? We were just like, you know what? Let's go for it, and we'll go big. Nice. <laughs> a sense of relief today, like yeah. in our camp. Like you know, there's so many aspects to the show, and for it all to like work, yeah. we're like we actually fucking pulled it off. Like yeah, buzzing. So, so, good. so I mean, now that people have seen, I guess by the time people watch this, they'll have seen it in Leeds as well. So, talk me through what kind of were the biggest challenges with this like you clearly were like okay let's go big let's be ambitious let's do things we've never done before what were the difficulties how did you kind of overcome them in terms of putting together that station uh i mean we made things difficult for ourselves because before this we did the residency tour which was three different sets each month sorry a different set each month yeah so that took up a lot of time and then it was like okay we've got what two three weeks before slam yeah. dunk so then it was like okay switch attention focus focus so that that was a big just to get it done in time was a big hurdle and then i guess we're, we're so like control freaks really so like the content making sure it was all perfect That's and great. all sync synced yeah. up and like that was a bit of a challenge not a bad way to be though like you want to take control of something like that because that's you no one's going to know better than you what your fans want to see right like you've got you've got to take that control freak status sometimes right i think yeah if it comes from like the band like we obviously know the music as well as anyone could hope so, so like when yeah <laughs> you'd hope so um so when you then add you're effectively just adding new dimensions to the music um, and you, you can just build such a interesting experience by using you know light and streamers and lasers and uh, pyro and everything so it's just we felt like kids in a candy store you know nice. like all this stuff to play with and um, yeah it was great it was, I guess the, the test was like making a set that flowed felt like it took you through all these emotions with all these edit added extras and stuff and got a bit theatrical in the middle there and yeah it was a lot of fun well bodes well for i mean i mean you're arena boys now it's happening it's happening next year that tour has been announced some amazing lineups on the support as well by the way but like wembley arena and all that to come i guess this is maybe even if you do something quite different i guess a taste of that that level of production that you kind of get at these bigger bigger shows right yeah and i think that was you know another uh, part of the idea of you know making such an effort with this slam dunk show is that you know we want people to see what what we're kind of capable of and you know show that we can do bigger shows as well as the smaller kind of sweaty more intimate shows and the, you know it's just building a whole other dimension to to the shikari i guess and what a moment to do it in as well because i remember the last time i spoke to you ralph for the mag and like for the slam dunk special uh you, you didn't have a number one album then my god i mean congratulations genuinely like such a huge moment not just for you guys obviously but the wider scene it's just always so great when we see one of us one of us you know it's nice to see the scene kind of having these big moments and get those number one records it's a great record as i've said to you before but it's got to be extra lovely for you guys to see it really connecting with an audience immediately like that right i mean yeah our seventh album and like it feels like not i mean ob yeah, obviously number one chart stuff is like amazing because you, like you say an alter someone from the alternative world poking their head into the mainstream like yeah. kicking the doors down that feels amazing um but like the album itself just seems to be like connecting in a really like immediate way like there's such an energy to it that people are uh, accepting with open arms so like yeah super yeah happy. i guess it, like normally people say to us oh you know it took me a few listens but i really like it now like this album it just seems far more immediate people like straight off the bat it seems to really connect so i mean it's really probably happy. not a coincidence that it is largely about finding connection right or that search for connection and then there we are people have really adapted it's got to be so just tell me about actually particularly getting some of those songs onto the live stage now because i guess more and more must be making their way into the set list and obviously everyone's a lot more familiar with them now are you noticing those reactions and and kind of connections on the live stage in particular yeah again it's like it's rare that your newer songs 
are like the biggest moments in the set. Normally it's like, you know, like the older songs that have had the people know and have lived with for so many years. But yeah, this album, it's like, it really does feel like the special moments in the set are the new tracks that we, we've been playing, um, which, you know, it's a great, great feeling. And it, yeah, hopefully just like, we're just excited to be able to put a few more in because we only really had time to do the singles so far. So yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah. be really tough picking the set list for Wembley and for the other arena shows. A nice problem to have, though. A nice problem when you're struggling with that. Um, guys, I almost... I don't want to ask kind of what's next, really, but I know that you got you guys seem in the zone again. You seem like, you know, I know, Rao, you obviously spoken quite a bit about how, yeah, there was a little moment of kind of writer's block there and all that stuff. Overcoming it now, do you feel like moving forward, even though the album's just dropped, is it is it flowing again? Are you in the zone? Are you ready to kind of keep hitting the ground running, I guess? Yeah, like, it felt... Um, that whole period of not being able to write and not being to play shows, that was that the band just ceased to exist and it was so odd um, and you know we kind of came back with this album and we kept saying it was like this is our second act it feels like a rebirth and we kind of said that almost with hope that it would feel like that mm. and it feels so much like that it feels like not just just feels so um, re-energised to like the thirst is just like there it's insatiable and I think the the tour that we've announced like that's hopefully going to be the the next step um yeah see what happens so so excited for you guys honestly it's such a great record it's so great to see you stepping up on these bigger stages again i'm gonna let you go and enjoy and get ready for the show tonight but before i do we've been asking everyone this this question this weekend this to me is maybe the most stacked slam dunk there's ever been there's a it's a big lineup this year really really exciting names on there Dream collaborations. I want someone you've not worked with before who's on this lineup. Who do you think would be great to get as a feature or work with on a track for Chicago? Um, I know it's a big question. lineup in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, we... Well, it always feels weird, like, a band collaborating with a band. Like, we've yeah. only collaborated with, like, like single artists. Sure. Um, but, um, you know, like, we toured with... Billy Talent was one of the first tours we ever did. Like, they took us out for an arena tour in Europe yeah. in like 2007 and they're so lovely and it's, it's been really nice to see them again um, is it Paris before them yeah, yeah. I mean just awesome I could actually see that, that being a thing well, yeah. um, who's, who's after that I'm trying to remember who's on our stage we've only seen people who are, who are on our stage you're busy that's yeah, fair yeah, to <laughs> but today I'm hoping to see see some more and get about the, the site a bit more um yeah, I don't know. Mind blank. Who else is playing? I mean, everyone. It's that stat. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's Band Aid. It's Band Aid 2023. It's Scene Aid. That's what we want. It's going to work well. Um, have a great show tonight, boys. We'll catch up again soon, all right? Good to see you. And Shikari, everybody.